I wanted to go into repairability. So if you're using, you know, wrong capacities, if you're not using good uh, best practices, you're going to burn these systems out. So I wanted to ask about what you do specifically with the Lodestar VS to get these things back up and running. What's the repairability of these systems? Where can you get parts for these systems? You know, things like that. So one, one of the, probably the greatest features of the Lodestar VS, uh, not only being that it has the CM high tech interface so you could monitor that data through the maintenance page, but also the VFD. The VFD has a lot of internal uh, protection features to try to prevent you from burning it out or overloading it, things like that. It's made to cut off at very precise points and very precise um, amperage and outputs and voltages and things like that. So realistically, unless you really, really attempt to blow out the VFD, you shouldn't. As far as the brake systems go, you know, like a standard DC uh, brake, you know, with the Lodestar VS, we offer the heavy duty maintenance free brake. Um, so this brake, there's not maintenance for it. It just goes through its mirror inspection process. And once it exceeds its, its um, wear allowances, it's just replaced. You know, the slip clutch being outside the load path, that makes for very easy inspection and maintenance. So in other words, I don't have to remove all my gears and such. I can go in through the back end cover and simply pull that slip clutch out and inspect it. So realistically on the Lodestar VS, if it's maintained properly, um, you know, chain is naturally going to wear out over time. And, and, you know, one of the great things about the Lodestar VS is it comes with a five pocket lift wheel, which extends chain life and reduces chain wear, you know, along with our star grade zinc plated chain. So all these things combined, realistically, the maintenance on this hoist is going to be minimal. Um, granted, you have to do your annual periodic inspections or your, you know, semi-annual or quarterly inspections, depending on the use of the hoist. But other than that, repairing this hoist is very simple due to the, the componentry involved in it. And it's going to be minimal at best. And of course, you could reach out to your service providers for parts and service. Like you said before, too, Rob, I mean, it seems kind of like it's dummy proof. You know, it's keeping track of its runtime. It's keeping track of the number of lifts, hours, all that stuff. And then it's telling you that, hey, it may be time to get in there and adjust the brake or, you know, take a look at some of these components. They've reached kind of their service life and may need to look at may need to be inspected or replaced. So, I mean, in terms of if, like I said before, if you're a maintenance supervisor, this thing seems like a, a no brainer. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's logging everything for you. So it's phenomenal.